Hey, what's going on guys? Mixkillet here with another CSGO video and today I'm going to be talking about something pretty interesting. Some of you guys may have heard about the Prime matchmaking or if you've been on CSGO lately you probably saw that pop up and I'm going to be talking about that in this video but I wasn't originally planning on talking about it but there was actually another update which came out on the 29th and I believe this update as well as the Prime matchmaking stuff is definitely going to help on the problem of CSGO smurfs and hackers which is something that the community has been complaining about for a while so let's get started on this if you don't know what prime matchmaking is whenever you load up CSGO and if you haven't been on lately you should be able to open up this um, this little image right here and it should be at the top left of the screen I've already done it on my game and now I just have a little badge there that's what happens after you do it but basically all you do is you read this little thing here and um, you need to have one you need to have your Steam account linked to a phone number and if you already have the Steam mobile authenticator up which you guys probably do if you've been doing any trading lately because you basically have to have that if you want to trade and not have to wait two weeks between each trade but if you don't have that you can also just put a phone number on there it should give you the option if you um, don't have that set up but most of you guys probably already have your Steam accounts linked with a phone number with the mobile authenticator app. So all you have to do is press OK and then you should be all set up with the Prime matchmaking thing. And Prime matchmaking hasn't actually started yet. They're still waiting for more people to uh, set it up. And then you will be able to participate in Prime matchmaking. But what's so special about Prime matchmaking? Well, it's basically just like normal matchmaking, except you can only play with people that have their phone number linked. And you can only link one phone number per one account, so you can't have like two accounts linked to the same phone number, it will not work out. So this is kind of a system that they made to try to prevent smurfing, and they did set it up so you can't use some sort of temporary phone number, so it has to be like an actual qualified phone number, not some sort of like bullshit phone number that you made up just to get an account on Prime matchmaking. So they're trying to make it so it's very difficult for someone to try to make a separate account. And basically, they're trying to make it so it's almost impossible to have multiple accounts to play Prime matchmaking without getting multiple different phones, which not too many people would be able to do. But I don't know if there's some sort of way around it. This has not been introduced yet, so uh, I'm not sure if there's some sort of easy way around this. But what I've seen so far, it seems like it'd be a pretty great idea because uh, this prime matchmaking is going to be a kind of more elite matchmaking. I mean, not like skill based, but it's going to be more difficult to um, play in this. You can't just have any random Smurf account. You have to have an account that's linked with a phone number. So seems like a pretty good idea. Now, something else that's really interesting that uh, I don't think too many people have talked about this and it was only added in some minor patch. Um, a couple days ago, but they've actually made it so if you have multiple accounts that are linked to the same phone number and then one of the accounts gets VAC banned, all of the accounts will end up being VAC banned on CSGO. So I'm sure there's some people that have some sort of like Smurf setup or multiple Smurfs and they have them all linked with like the mobile authenticator and um, because you kind of have to have the mobile authenticator if you want to do any sort of trading and you kind of, they're trying to make it so you really have to have your phone number linked to do a lot of the Steam features, but if one account gets a VAC ban or a game ban, all of the accounts will receive the VAC ban and the game bans. So this new VAC ban transferring feature is actually going to help up, it's going to help clean up normal matchmaking and probably prime matchmaking as well. So Valve is really making it a lot harder to smurf in CSGO. They've already made it so you have to be level 3 on a new account. And now they have this where you have to have a phone number linked if you want to be in the new Prime matchmaking. Which I guess when that comes out, ever, anyone that wants to actually play a real game that's not with smurfs and stuff is probably going to be playing that. So I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. We'll have to see how these uh, updates play out. And um, if someone's already got like a Steam mobile authenticator set up with multiple accounts, they will definitely be screwed by that new update because all the accounts will be VAC banned if they, uh, I mean, I mean if they get VAC banned and they have multiple accounts set up. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys found the video helpful and hope you guys are excited for Prime matchmaking and stuff. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. And I'm Mixkillet and I'm out.